everyone, my name is Anastasia. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be going through a guide of the summer update wave 1 of Animal Crossing New Horizons version 1.3.0 which includes new exciting features such as diving and swimming, two new characters which are mostly NPCs, and special items such as a new mermaid set and some special pirate items. So onto the new features, we have swimming and diving, which is new to New Horizons, but they were in previous AC games. Like I remember they existed in Animal Crossing New Leaf. And they will allow you to enter the water around your island and dive to the bottom of it. And there you could pick up various items such as sea creatures and also pearls, which is a new addition, which all of these are new addition to Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you want to go swimming in Animal Crossing New Horizons, then you would definitely need some swimming gear. So first of all, we have the snorkels, which Nintendo will send you by mail. Um, I mean, in the game, not in real life. <laughs> um, a random color of a snorkel, uh, but for the swimsuits, you have to buy them at shops that you have different options from. Uh, first of all, you have uh, one at Nick's Cranny going around for 3,000 bells and there it changes every few days or so you also have a different version of the wetsuit that will be available for sale at the next stop in exchange for 800 nook miles tickets there's also a snorkel a teal snorkel if you really don't like the color of your snorkel and you could purchase also a leaf print wetsuit at the next stop and there's also four variations of that I also want to add that there are different colors of the snorkels if you don't like the color that you can buy at Able Sisters. Swimming in Animal Crossing is pretty easy in my opinion. You can jump off of multiple places and all you gotta do is just press the A button and that's it. And if you just want to keep on swimming then you just have to press the A button multiple times. But I found out a hack which is not revolutionary, but it's pretty great if you're lazy as me. Um, all you gotta do is when you're swimming to just keep on pressing the A button and you will keep on swimming, but it'll be a little bit slower, but you don't have to repeatedly press the A button. Also, I calculated that when you're diving, keep in mind that you only have 10 seconds underwater. So be aware when you're catching those sea creatures. So there's a new trick that I found that if you use water shoes, you'll be more faster at swimming. I've tested this and in my opinion, it's more faster than without. So I, I recommend them. So alongside the new update, we also have a new character. He is a sea otter and his name is Pascal or Pascal or however you call him. And he appeared in previous AC games. I remember him very well from Animal Crossing New, uh, not New, uh, New Leaf. And by giving him scallops, you'll be able to get special DIY recipes from him. So what I mean by that is that you will get um, special mermaid recipes and you can also get mermaid dresses and mermaid outfits but there's a bit of a downside that he only appears once a day so even if you have multiple scallops on a day you can only get him to appear once so since scallops can be found in the sea at any time uh, all year so too can Pascal or Pascal or however you call him. Also, we have 40 new sea creatures. As I said before, there's also a new mermaid set and you're wondering, well, how can I get the new mermaid set? Well, you have to go swimming, 
each day and get a scallop to Pascal and he will give you back a either a mermaid item or a mermaid outfit and they and all of them need pearls if I remember correctly and shells so get your shells um, that are already on the beach and also there's a little more reminder that you cannot craft the dresses and the shoes so beware of that if you want to trade the, the clothes Alongside Pascal, we also have a new villager and he is pirate Gulliver, which is different than the normal Gulliver and both the, no the normal and the pirate Gulliver can appear on your island and the difference between them is that they give different items and the, and the, communi and the communicator parts for pirate Gulliver aren't on the beach and they're located deep in the bottom of the ocean compared to the beach. Apart all the other updates, we have a new special item. It's a Tenabata. I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. And it's a bamboo grass to celebrate Tenabata, which is a festivity in Japan. We will also have a second update coming up for Animal Crossing New Horizons and it's coming in in August. So if you want me to also cover that update, then please make sure to subscribe and like this video and I will see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.